Amen. There's a ton of new settings in NBA 2K25. You want to shoot 95 from three and you want to know how to dribble like a dribble god? Make your layups and not miss them like everybody else in the community? Make sure y'all watch this full video. We're going to be giving you the best settings for shooting. Just everything in general, man. There's a lot of new settings. Before we get into that, man, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. We're going to keep you up to date with all the news, best builds, jump shots, dribble moves, and hilarious gameplay, man. And get this video to a thousand likes. Let me know what else y'all need help with. So firstly, for your vibration function, I keep this on, okay? It no longer vibrates when you shoot. Pause online because people was cheating right but trigger effect this is very important please guys please send this video to your friends when i play with randoms especially the old heads dog that you hear it you hear it bro that's all you hear in their controller bro you can't play like that it's disrupting you okay this is okay but the trigger effect is in bro you gotta you know you got something tripping in your hand bro how can you play you know just when dribble it's gonna it's gonna intimidate you you're gonna mess up your shots it's turn it off guys okay now look your shot timing profile put it here okay either here or here you can start off here this description it says similar to previous 2ks but according to 2k uh 2k lab chart that's not true because that doesn't represent those 2ks or i don't i don't know what's going on now look this is according to nba 2k okay this is the low risk right you don't want this guys maybe if you lag or you're from some other area where you don't play on good servers and you're trying to play with other people maybe do something like this but and then they say, this is medium, and this is how the other 2Ks was, bro. <laughs> it would st it would be more around like these areas and stuff. So, I mean, the description is wrong when you read it. All they did with these newer 2Ks, guys, is they just made all the whites you would make back then, they just made them green. They just opened up the green window. That's all they did, bro. And 2K Lab confirmed that. You know, when I was telling people that when they first introduced Green or Mist. So, I mean, maybe y'all can start on this if you want, but when you see high risk, you're going to want to do high risk. You see, like you have a way higher make percent. This is according to 2K Lab. And uh, yeah, and th all this is not counting all your badges, your jump shot meter off. I'm pretty sure your momentum, you, you building up your takeover. So it's going to be like green even more, you know? So, yeah. That's why to use high risk, okay? Now your layup timing, this is very important. A lot of people have this wrong. It's not just because they have low layup. I see so many people, I've been watching people play. They're missing. Do not put it on this. I don't care. Until someone figures out the sauce, the layup, whatever, don't do this, okay? Don't do this. Maybe if you keep your layup meter on, but even then I seen people missing. I ain't going, I ain't going. I ain't gonna hold you. People are smoking wide open layups. I would say put it on low risk reward. So you make basic layup and you can always che cheese the low risk. I don't know if you run with this online, but if you can't choose this, you can always cheese the not timing online because if you just get the player out your way, the game will read you as wide open. So, you know, I would say go with this until people figure out what's going on and if you could choose this online i don't think you could choose real player percent online make sure you choose this though okay so you're not smoking wide open layups and everybody's yelling at you and, you know okay we got the user timing shot timing visual visual cue look they everybody's saying they sped up jump shots right listen the people who be using this type of stuff they're cheating <laughs> most likely look what you're going to want to use is one of these two. I believe to do release because there's so many funky animations in these newer 2Ks and you really need to see and have the time to react to what's going on with whatever random animation they're going to give you. There's so many lag spikes. This allows you to adjust and apply like what, what needs to go on. Release has been the best in the past few 2Ks. I say use release. If not, you could try to push, but I say release. Man. Okay, you want this on all pro stick function. You want this on default. You don't want it on just dribble moves because then you won't be able to shoot with the right stick and do like step backs and shoot. You don't you don't want that. And then this is for having no dribble moves. Don't do this. Just put it on default. Pro stick orientation. I say use absolute. This just means your right stick is basically when you hit left, it's always left no matter how you're angled on the court. Camera relative is more the angle. I say do the same for our off ball offense. Okay. They have this on uh absolute. Okay, double team reaction, I have it on auto. 
Keep this on manual. Keep this on double team. Player icons, keep this on. Keep skip pass enabled. Keep this on. Now look, pro stick pass type. Put this on flash. Basically, I'm pretty sure you hold R1 and you use your right stick while holding R1. You can angle a flashy pass right to him. So that's pretty cool. Now look, you want full receiver rec control right here. Okay, Gives you more control. Now this is kind of up to you. You could do the handoff. This is more for like not online, but you know, say you have your teammate come to you. If you know how to even activate this, you'll hand them off the ball. I, I say choose this. You could choose either or you could do this. I, I don't now look right here. You want to disable this. This game is probably the most unrealistic 2K ever. I don't care what they're saying about some pro play. This is the 2K where you have the least control over your my player. It's actually kind of sad, Um, especially in 2024. You want to disable this, OK? Maybe if you're a bot and you just want, you know, but you want to have more control over your player and actually learn the game. Now, the pro stick defense, I would keep on camera relative, especially with how there's new mechanics defensively, like with the strips and all that when people are driving. So I would say keep it camera relative. Keep this on. OK, who to guard? Keep it on. For some reason, there's some myth to turn this off and it doesn't drag you and all this and that and pull you. It still does. You just don't see it, bro. Keep this on, okay? Especially keep it on when you play with people because most people are gonna have this on. And if you have it off, you're not gonna know what they're seeing and they might be following this and you're just doing something else guarding your man and you don't know when the game is switching this and that. Just keep it on, bro. Please, put this on 100. If you're a guard, a big, put it on 100. It's gonna help you get better box outs. Been doing it for years. Now look, this is for offline, man. Put this on openness, or you could just straight 99 opennesses, okay? Now look, another thing you wanna do, and also when you actually go into your my player, you wanna check and make sure everything's okay. This is gonna overhaul everything most likely. For the 2K beats, if y'all are 2K creators, you have to turn this off. If you're casual, you can have this on, but I turn off everything because I'm recording all this and that. I don't want no music because it's copyright. So all you have to do, here's all I did, because it, it's it's automatically on. All I did was just double tap. You gotta, you gotta double tap and then it disables all the tracks, you see? And then you're good. And I'm gonna show you something else. Then you're also gonna wanna scroll down, okay? Look, by the way, this is your cross play. You have this on or off. Now look, here, here's what I do. Turn this off. I turn this off. This is me personally. This is how I hear better and record gameplay better, okay? Because I don't know how things, this is just how I'm doing it off rip. I'll kind of tweak, but I keep all this off, bro. You feel me? And I keep it like this. This is how I be doing it in my 2Ks. For all y'all up and coming creators, y'all that be recording clips and you don't want copyright or something of the sort, I suggest this. Motion blur, you want this off, okay? You don't want your players blurring. Now look, you wanna go into your animations? and go over to customize HD, okay? HUD, HUD, okay? Now look, this right here, your shot meter, turn this off. They give you a 20% green window boost. Keep it off, it does not help you. They're not good training with. You don't see nobody mountain biking up a mountain with training with. You want to get better, take it off, get better. It makes the game way, take it off. God, it don't matter if you even play play now, take it off, it will help you, bro, I'm telling you. Now for the layups, this is up to you. Uh, they say they give you a boost, but bro, people are missing, crazy. So I mean, if you use the other layup settings, it, you know, then it don't even matter. This wouldn't even matter, it's up to you. And this is for your shot meter. Visibility on your free throws, keep it off, you get a boost. That's the graphic. Now look, this is very important. And guys, please follow me on Twitter, it's in the description. We have to get Mike Wayne to change this. He brought back instant greens, but they lie to us. It's only in simple, but with simple, you can't see all your feedback. So, you know, like right here, you see the excellent timing, wide open, but it's not instant, okay? This is the only one that's instant to my knowledge, unless I'm tripping, bro. You wanna put it on all shots, tell Mike Wayne to give us an option to have all shots and it be instant green. Um, you want to know your feedback, so just see what's going on. Put it like this. Click the video on the screen if you want the best two-way point guard in NBA 2K25. It's not clickbait, bro. It's a damn four-way demigod, okay? It got legend glove and interceptor and it, it can do everything. It's ridiculous, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talk
talking is for when this hit the fan Everything I'm at made me Now break it down Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.